Hi, from Underwater Math. Let's have a little chat about three-digit subtraction with regrouping. Just like addition, subtraction problems can be written horizontally or vertically. We still have to remember the importance of matching the place values in the minuend, the bigger number, and the subtrohand, the number you're taking away. Let's make sure we line up the digits in the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place before we begin subtracting. Just like with addition, when we subtract, we will start at the smallest place value, all the way to the right. That's the ones place, but how can I subtract 7 from 3? Great question. We will need to regroup, or borrow, from the next place to the left in order to subtract. Looking at the minuend, remember, that's the bigger number, we have 4 tens. We're going to borrow one of those tens and move it over to the ones place. So let's just cross out that four and change it to a three. Now there are three tens left in the tens place. And we will exchange that 10 we borrowed for 10 ones and move it to the ones place. Now, instead of three ones, we have 13 ones. You can either write a little one in front of the three or you can cross out the three completely and write 13 above it. I see, now. Since we have 13 ones now in the minuend, we can subtract the 7 ones in the subtruahend. 13 minus 7 equals 6. Very good. We will put those 6 ones below the ones place stack. Do you think you can try the tens place now? I'll give it a shot. It looks like we are going to have to borrow again. I can't subtract 8 tens from 3 tens, but now, I know what to do. I will borrow from the hundreds place. First, I will cross out the 5, and change it to a 4. Then, I need to exchange that 100, for 10 tens. I will show that, by writing a 1 in front of the 3 that's in the tens place right now. Now, I can subtract 8 tens from 13 tens. 13 minus 8 equals 5. I have 5 tens, so I will write a 5 below the 10 stack. Great job! I think you've got the hang of this. Now, we just have the hundreds place left to subtract. It looks like we do not need to borrow, so we can simply subtract 4 minus 2. That gives us 2 hundreds, so let's write a 2 below the hundreds stack. And there we have it. The answer to our subtraction problem, called the difference, is 256. Thanks for helping me understand regrouping and subtraction problems. You did fantastic. Here's a submarine for your next underwater math adventure.